for years, really all I've done with my eyebrows is either use a spoolie to go through them or use a clear gel, but I have noticed that they're thinning a little bit and I never can seem to get them arched. So yes, I am finally trying a brow stamp kit. I know they have been around for a little bit, but this is new to me. I have not tried one of these before. I haven't practiced with this or anything. I wanted to go through it with you on to see how easy these are to use the first time you use them. This is from iMethod Beauty. This was gifted to me. Thank you so much to iMethod. And it says the perfect eyebrows in seconds. The color I have is 07. It has a six, these have a six month shelf life. It is made in China, designed in New York. A pouch that everything comes in. This does regularly retail for $30 on their website, but it is currently on sale for $16.97. I don't know how long that will last, but if you're interested, you might wanna check it out. I'll have a link down in the description box if you wanted to learn more and check on the price. We have instructions, a spoolie and a stamp, the product, the colored product, and some brow stencils. There are seven color options on their site. It can be purchased on their site or on Amazon. I always have had problems with like getting an arch in my brows. I've had my brows threaded and waxed and looked and it just seems like they can never get an arch in it so we will see. also if you are curious i am going to have my mom test this and she back in the day shaved her brows and guess what they didn't come back the tails of them so she will be letting me know how they work on a person if you don't have any brow hair at all to like start with you find the stencil that works for you and you're going to do it like this and then wipe it off and flip it to the other side. I think that I'm going to have to play around and I'll probably do this over on TikTok, but I think I'm gonna to have to play around. I'm just kind of curious if you use these and it's like not the right one, what happens? All right, so I picked out, I am doing number five and it says a little goes a long way. Off the lid, of course. Here is what the color looks like. Again, this is number seven. So you're gonna dip the sponge into here and then tap off any excess. I'm gonna start with just a little because it says a little goes a long way. Let's see how this is gonna work. So you hold this with two fingers. That's what that looks like. And then you start here. That's where it tells you to start. And it says tapping motion to apply. for the reveal <laughs> if you're excited give me a thumbs up down below if you're excited for this reveal three two one oh look at it all right I think that's good so then it says that you use the little brush that's with it the angled brush to you know apply the pomade in the sparse areas and then you blend as you go using the spoolie for a natural finish. It looks like I'm getting more of a red kind of pigmentation when I apply it, you know, on here versus like on the sponge. And then just take the spoolie to get more of a natural, or not more, but get a natural. I like it. Yeah, this is way easier. Like I am not a person that has good luck with doing wings and brows so if you're like me and you kind of are a little bit of challenge when it comes to that kind of thing you may want to check this out and i'm not just saying that because they gifted me but you saw how easy it was so here is before and after does it look good the color the shape what's your thoughts so i want to wipe it off make sure i don't get it where it's not supposed to be on this side so line it up with, I think, using two hands first. Once you get it lined up, then switch to the two finger hold like that. And mind you that I usually wear glasses, but I don't wear them on camera because there's always a glare. So this is doing this with, usually I need stuff up close, and this is doing it without my glasses and a little bit away from the mirror more than I usually do. But I feel like if I get too close to the mirror, then you can't see. Are you ready? Three, 
two, one. Do they look similar? Do they look like sisters? You guys are seeing first, let me know. Okay, now I'm gonna look. Always one looks better. This eye is always the eye that looks better too. But, so what I think what happened is I didn't have it all the way here. So you wanna make sure that you have it really all the way down here. So I, yeah, but it can be fixed. And I think I want a little bit heavier handed on this side, pomade and going into it. But I think for my very first time, I think that's pretty good. What do you think? I would say first impressions, I will update over on TikTok and Instagram, but first impressions, I'm happy with it. Thank you, iMethod, I am happy with it. I can't remember if I said they are cruelty-free, 100% vegan, and there is no scent. Yeah, no smell. The company has been around since 2018. And don't go away yet because what we're, what I'm gonna do is, number one, I'm gonna have my mom try these out. I'll take a picture, just, she didn't wanna be on camera, but I'll just take a picture of her brows. I'm going to do a wear test with this, see how long they last on, stamp a little bit on my arm, and then we'll run it underwater, see how that wears on that end. And yes, so don't go away. Here is, I'm outside, natural light. This is with my phone, so you can see my brows. I think I went a little too heavy handed, which I usually have that problem, but here's what they look like in natural light. All right, I've had the brows on for about six hours and wanted to give you some more feedback. And I did put them on couple on my arm just to I'll insert the clip they are definitely waterproof and yeah I could still they're not going anywhere I definitely get more arch than I have before I think I just went maybe a little bit too much product on and now let me show you my mom, some pictures of her. It's gonna take her a little bit to get used to just because she usually does her brows a lot lighter, but she did say that the ease of doing it was very quick. So depending on what your look you're going for, she's gonna play around too with different stencils and a little bit thinner ones than I was doing. She said she's still on the fence that she likes how quick it was and that it actually, you know, gave her some brows, but she just wants to kind of play around with it because she doesn't usually wear her brows that dark and that thick. So, but for ease, yes, for sure. How do you usually do your brows? Like, is this too dark, you think, for me? Or like, this is the look that you would do? Yeah, overall, first impressions, like I said, I will do updates, but first impressions, I like it. I think that if you have a heavy hand, that would be one thing to kind of, I need to practice with. And just trying out the different stencils, seeing which arch works best for me. There is my thoughts. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much to iMethod. I'm excited that I got to try this and I will keep you updated over on TikTok and Instagram. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening whenever and wherever you are that you're watching this. Thanks, bye.